Hi everybody, thanks for showing up tonight, and tonight we are here at my little place in Maine, but I have a background here of Gary's Pub over here in Naples, Maine, and on Fridays from now on I want to have a little show that whenever I've gone to photography conventions or marketing conventions, a lot of some of the best things that are learned are at the bar in between the sessions and things like that. So I figured on Fridays, let's try and do something like that. Let's do some critiques. Let's do some Q&A, different things for that. So a toast to all you out there that showed up. Here's my little uh, Bridgeton Lakes uh, Chamber of Commerce Brewfest Cup from my wife Susan who runs that every year. And let's, um, let's talk about um, what this segment's all going to be about. So from here on in, like I say, this is early on. I, there's probably not any people at all watching or anything like that. But that's okay. I want to get things set up for this as we go forward so that you can, um, if you look up in the right corner of this here, you can see photographytribe at gmail.com. I want people to be able to send in Pictures they want me to critique. I want them to ask questions about cameras. Anything to do with photography. Because I don't know much about too many things. But I certainly do know a lot about photography. So um, let's go with that. And what I want to do today is I had a listener send me in a picture early on. And, and it's winter time now. So I wanted to show you a winter picture and some of the things that we can do with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on over here to let you watch a pre-recorded video that I did on a winter critique that I did of someone's picture. Because it's winter time. So let's take a look at that. Let's move this out of the way here and go here and click on the here hello everybody this photo here was sent in by one of our listeners and he said hey ed what would you do to improve on this picture here now this is actually a pretty darn nice picture but there are a couple of things you could do to make it better um, for one thing and i'll show you how to do this here in a minute i think that i would like to not have him in the direct center of the picture because you, you for compositionally wise you try and you know get your picture into a third area into the picture of intersecting lines which I'm going to show you in a minute I'd also like to maybe crop out this barn here or whatever that building is so you don't see that and I'd like to improve the overall um, clarity of the picture show a little bit more detail into the snow so let's let's see if we can do that and we're going to use Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud to do that so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit the crop tool so now when I come down and I move my cursor down here to the corner, I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to click on here and you'll see that it puts this grid, which is the rule of thirds. And so what I'm going to do, again, I'm holding the shift key down and I'm down here in the corner and I'm going to just move this up a little bit. And I'm going to go up to the top, but I'm going to do the same thing, still holding down the shift key. All right, so now that building is cropped out of here. And you can see with compositionally, the most powerful part of a composition is where the lines intersect here. So he is here and the snowmobile is here. So this is in a really good place. So I'm going to double click that. All right, and there we are. We've cropped that, so compositionally I'm pretty happy with that. But now let's go in and take care of some of those other things that I talked to you about. So let's go up here and let's click on Filter. And let's click on Camera Raw Filter. And the first thing I like to do when I get into these here is they're supposed to be white balanced properly uh, inside the camera, but they never really ever are. So again, I'm going to be holding down the shift key, and over here where it says white, I'm going to double click on that. And you'll see that it goes to 31, so it's going to white balance that. I'm also going to click on the blacks, so we have clean blacks. Now... That there is a pretty good exposure. We still have some more work to do. So what I want to do is I want to go down here to the clarity slider. And I'm going to slide that over a little bit. Quite a bit actually. And as I do that, you can see that I'm starting to get the snow kicking up here. I'm getting some detail into the front. And I'm starting to see some texture into the snow. And that's something that I want to do. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to go to the shadows. And I want to go just hold the slider down. And I want to 
open those up a little bit, maybe to about 50. Okay, so it clears things up a little bit there. And maybe I'll go to the highlights and I'll click that down a little bit more just to maybe get a, even a little bit more texture and detail into the snow here. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and these little mountains, these are details, I'm going to click on that. And then on the sharpening area here, I'm going to slide across and I'm going to maybe go to 45 and sharpen that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to my basic um, changes. And the last thing I want to do is I want to go down here to where it says saturation. And I'm going to just slide that over a little bit more, maybe to about 50. And that's going to give a little bit more vibrance here into the sled of the yellow of the sled, the lighting, and onto his, his suit here. And then I'm going to OK that. And that's what I get. And I'm happy with that, okay? When you and, and when you compare it to what we started with, which is this here, you can see how that's kind of muddy, and you know the buildings in there, like all the things I told you before. So then, after we've done all those changes, we click here, all right. And compositionally, it's better. Color-wise, it's better. I like that much better. Um, they're both good pictures, but you asked how to improve it. That's how I would improve it, and that's it for this video. Got to turn my light on here. That's what happens when you go live. But anyways, I wanted to show you um, a little critique right there. Um, these are things that I want to do every Friday. I'll have a different little bar set up every time I go there. Like I say, when I've gone to different marketing conventions or I've gone to different photography conventions, we always wind up at the bar and some of the best things are learned there so um, if you look at the top right corner of this thing you'll see photography tribe at gmail.com send me in your pictures I'll I'll critique them for you I'll show you how to make them better or at least what my opinion is to make them better and um, and again, if you want to talk about equipment, any questions you want to ask me, anything else, it all goes. This is going to be on Fridays. This is all our question stuff. So um, I guess that's it. I don't see too much going on. I see some thumbs up along here, and I, I certainly appreciate that. I know there's not a lot of people watching right now. This is just for me to try and get a little more comfortable working this whole um, process and um, eventually it'll get bigger so if you yeah if you want to jump on now while things are kind of slow jump on like I say I don't know much but I know my photography so I'll help you whatever I can so that being said have a, a, a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you next mon uh, on Monday and we'll go over some photography stuff and right on through our regular routine. Have a great weekend and thanks for checking in. Finish it up.